6134 Pat Leary, 7th, number 20, Alan Dan. No other finishes, the winner's time 1 minute 47.23 seconds, giving a speed of 48.64 miles per hour.
night. Well, Asian scroll down from the eastern centre this afternoon, lives up there near Woodbridge in Suffolk. Long distance Trevor to get his grass tracking in, but look at Richard Sims, the man from Wallingham in Surrey, taking the lead. Adrian Squirrel fights back and takes the lead back again. This is report comes from a very good grass tracking family. Dad has complained all sorts of uh, machinery over the years, and uh, his brother was a champion continental sidecar racer. And he's a racer in his own right. So they come down to the last lap flag. It's just Adrian Squirrel from Richard Sims from Mark Powell, which he knows. He can be the additional runner in place of Keith Strudwick. And Paul Simmons and Bellamy Edwards. And then Michael Peters bringing up Priya. A lap behind. Mark Patch snatches victory on the line. Well, that was well thought out. He just managed to sneak that one over on the big second with Adrian Squirrel and third. Richard Sims, followed by Richard Knight, Paul Simmons. Nick Ablett, Tony Edwards. Race four then, the 250cc solos. Their first outing of the afternoon was a good win there for number 74, Mark Powell. In second place, 32, Adrian Squirrel. Third, 180, Richard Sims. Fourth, 229, Richie Knight. Fifth, 31, Paul Simmons. Sixth, 50, Nick Ablett. Seventh, 115. Bernie Edwards, 8th, number 20, Alan Dan, and 9th, number 37, Michael Peters. No other finishes, the winner's time 1 minute 50.19 seconds, giving an average speed of 47.34 miles per hour.
Jones and Michael Harrison in second place on their Yamaha. Simmons, 
third place, number nine, Mitchell Godden. Fourth place, number 174, Robin Pilcher. Fifth place, number 56, Nick Morphy. Sixth, number five, Dave Hollingsby. Seventh, number 17, Tim Mount. Eighth, 187, Justin Shaw. Ninth, number two, Adrian Harden. And in tenth place, number 23, Ian Edwards. Now on the finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 40.58 seconds, giving a speed of 51.86 miles per hour. Bringing up the rear. 
he comes round that pit's turn, he's got it all sewn up this time as uh, Andy Gomes drives a long way around the outside, but a quick cut back on the inside for 139, David Veer should ensure he holds the lead, and he does, from Andy Gomes, from Terry Massingham and Pete Webb. Another turn. With Brian Cornelius bringing up the rear. Blake Mears leading. Paul Andy Gom in second place and then Sean Thornton. Those two, those three nicely spread out. And we'll have to at a safe distance and Terry Massingham fighting away there in fifth spot. Then Keith Webb in sixth, Alan Dan in seventh, Brian Cornelius in eighth. Oh, nice to see good Keith Webb getting a, up a place or two in this one. 139, David Mears in the lead, Rob oh, Sandy Gold. Oh, Brian Cornelius, he's a map of rears, and it's uh, Sean Crawley. Walter Neen, Terry Massingham. And Keith Webb. By Alan Dan and then Brian Cornelius, but here comes the winner of race 11. The checkered flag goes for 139. David Mears, Paul Andy Gomm in second, then Sean Corley, then Walter Dean, Miss Terry Massingham, a young lady rider, and then race 11 was a win there for number 139. Dave Mears in second place, 261. Andy Gomm, third, 44, Sean Cawley, fourth, 72, Walter Neem, fifth, 213, Terry Massingham, sixth, 52, Keith Webb, seventh, number 20, Alan Dan, eighth, number 48, Brian Cornelius. No other finishes, the winner's time will be 43.38 seconds, giving a speed of 50.45 miles per hour. Not behind. 
front win there for number 231. Just on the line, Roy Sizemore from in second place, 172, Paul Lloyd Ewings. In third place was number 17, Tim Mount, fourth, 71, Arthur Livings. Fifth, 29, Paul Knott. Sixth, 48, Brian Cornelius. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute, 48.27, giving an average speed of 48.17 miles per hour. Second place, number 60, Kev 
this at Nigel Field. Third place, two, seven, three. Peter French and Andy Summerfield. No other finishers. Once again, the amended result is one, seven, three, 60, two, seven, three. No other finishers. Start the speed the same, one minute 52.20, speed 46.49 miles per hour. Thompson and Brian Ray is 
well done then, Richie Knight's got it all his own way at the moment, but look at Chris Phillips coming up on the inside, very hard, very fast indeed, Richie Knight just holding on to it, Chris Phillips is there in the second place, and Richie Knight must be out of here as he goes around that corner, he must know he's got somebody, hard in style, Chris Phillips trying to inside Wilson now, but he's not quite there yet, his head's right down, the machine is absolutely flat out, as he now tries the outside line round Richie Knight, cutting back to the inside on the apex of the corner, through he comes, Chris Phillips, previous race winner here this afternoon, going now for his second victory, just one lap away from that magic moment with Richie Knight in second place, then Matt Thompson in third, then Brian Cornelius, then Paul Simmons, Daniel Abbott, Jack Walker, Bernie Edwards. James Peters. The chequered flag goes for 42. Chris Phillips, two rides, two wins. Second place there. His best ride so far this afternoon. Richie Nye, then Matt Thompson, then Brian Cornelius, Paul Simmons, Daniel Abbott, Jack Walker, Tony Edwards. Win for number 42, Chris Phillips in second place, 229. Richie Knight, third, 34. Matt Thompson, fourth, 48. Brian Cornelius, fifth, 31, Paul Simmons, 6th, 99, Daniel Abbott, 7th, 262, Jack Walker, 8th, 115, Bernie Edwards, and 9th, 45, James Peters. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute, 44.92, giving a speed of 49.71 miles per hour.
Gary Reynolds coming down from the outside and into the first turn first. It's Gary Reynolds leading from Mitchell Cotton in second place. 16 year old Gary Reynolds, sponsored by Wilson Tarmac. Up from the uh, junior ranks last year into the senior full flight this year. Look over the shoulder to see where Mitchell Cotton is, and Mitchell Cotton is there right behind him. Eight from nine from seventeen fifty five. Seems to be one of all lots of places in right foot rest. Problems for him then. He puts his hand up and falls out of the race. That's a shame. Doing very well on that five hundred this afternoon with the three fifty already out of action. That's bad luck for Tom Watson. Round the come then, Gary Reynolds. Little look over his shoulder again to see the Mitchell Cotton is at safe distance. And that's Gary Reynolds leading from Mitchell Cotton in second place. Jerry Baker is not in third place, he's a lap behind. So Tim Mount is in third, and Mr. Morphy. Around this turn they come in, the last lap flag in his sights is Gary Reynolds leading. Tom Mitchell got in second. Looking to Edwards with a big misfire. Tim Mount and Dave Hollingsby side by side, and then Mick Morphy. So this time the checkered flag goes for number eight, Gary Reynolds, and number nine, Mitchell Gordon. First two, home in race 17. Look down the line and uh, for number eight, Gary Reynolds. In second place, number nine, Mitchell Gordon. Third place, number five. Dave Hollingsby. Fourth place, number 17, Tim Mount. Fifth place, number 55, Paul Morphy. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 38.24 seconds, giving an average speed of 53.09 miles per hour. They go and Malcolm Simmons leads from Mr. Morphy, Mick Morphy in the second place, being overtaken by Robin Pilcher on the first turn. So it's Malcolm Simmons leading the old stager from the Midway Towns, leading from Robin Pilcher in second place. Nice line round that turn and Malcolm Simmons leading from 174, Robin Pilcher. Big Morphy and Michael Peters, Adrian Hart and Michael Turk. Oh, six runners in this one. The first two are away from the second two who are away from the first two. So this is like best pairs racing. I don't think there is a best pairs meeting coming up at Brighton very soon. That's the 28th of July. But Malcolm Simmons leading from 174 Robert Pilcher. McMorphy, Michael Peters, Adrian Hart, Michael Church. Coming down there now to take the last lap flag. Harry the flagman giving the last lap flag to Malcolm Simmons. Well, in second place then Robin Pilcher and Mick Morphy and Michael Peters. Michael Turk has got the better of Adrian Hart as they come round that turn now. Down to that last lap flag. So as we look to my left, here comes Malcolm Simmons taking the checkered flag, his first win of the afternoon. Sponsored of course by Wilson Tarmac from 174. Robin Pilcher, then 56 Mick Morphy, then 37 Michael Peters. For number 30, Malcolm Simmons. In second place was number 56, Mick Morphy. Third, 37. Michael Peters. Fourth, one, two, three, Michael Turk. Fifth, number two, Adrian Harden. No other finishes. 
The winner's time was 1 minute 42.64 seconds, a speed of 50.82 miles per hour. <laughs> Excluded there by the clerk, of course, for course cutting. Give you that result again after this right hand sidecar race and coming round there now. In then Rick Colvin and Matthew Dix in third, and it looked like they may have taken second into that corner as Justin Peach seems to have slowed. Colin Blackmore and Eddie Elvis are there in third. So Rob Wilson and Tony Miles leading this one from Rick Colvin and Matthew Dix. And Matthew Dix looks certainly no worse for wear. Then Colin Blackmore, then Eddie Elvis, then Ian and Stuart the Amis, and then Justin Peach and Ian Weatherly bring out the rear. Mr. 
Depart, five laps, depart. What's a win? The same as it was for four laps, really. It's 25. Rugby Wilson Jr. and Colin Hill. And in second place was number 101, Gavin Noonan and Simon Wall. And in third place, number 16, Mark and Robert Sharak. No other finishes, no time or speed due to the fact that that was a five lap race. <laughs> CC solos, a win three in a row for number 139, Dave Mears. Second place to number two. I can't come second in his first one. My memory's fading me. It's old age creeping up. He still won race 21, though. In second place was number 231. Guess Roy Sizemore. Third was 29, Paul Knott. Fourth, 17, Tim Mount. Fifth, number 213, Terry Massingham. Sixth, number two, Adrian Harden. And seventh, number 20. No time, no speed due to the short stoppage of the race. <laughs>
Jumping into that turn. Got that 350 going again, and it's even better on song this time than it was last time. Look at him coming round there, Alpha Leather. That half distance then is number nine, Mitchell Gordon from 172. All I do is from 44. Sean Pauley, 71 Arthur Lewis, 48 Ryan Cornelius, 72 Walter Dean, and 52 Keith Webb. Last lap flag out then for number 9, Mitchell Gordon. From 172, Paul Ewing. Then 44, Sean Cawley. Then Arthur Living, Brian Cornelius. Walter Neem. And Keith Webb. Number 9, Mitchell Gordon then takes the chequered flag. Better result for him this time, from Paul Lloyd Ewing's in a credible second. Sean Cawley will be pleased with his third. Then Arthur Living's always pleased with his results. Win there for number nine, Mitchell Godden. In second place, 172, Paul Lloyd Ewing's. In third place, 44, Sean Cawley. In fourth place, 71, Arthur Living's. In fifth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. In sixth place, number 72, Walter Neem. And in seventh place, number 52, Keith Webb. No other finishes. The winner's time woman at 43.87 seconds, giving an average speed of 50.22 miles per hour.
see Solo, and Richie Knight again goes into the lead with Chris Phillips in second place. This is the repeat of an earlier race in which Chris Phillips did eventually get by. So Richie Knight leading, Chris Phillips in second place. Richie Knight then in the lead. Well seasoned campaigner now. Chris Phillips trying to come round the outside. Goes a little bit wide. Richie Knight holding on to his advantage at the moment. Chris Phillips fighting away there in second spot. Then it's Richard Sims, and it's Jack Walker. Coming on forward and forward to Chris Knight extended his leash just a little bit round that turn. But Chris Phillips hasn't given up yet. He's still in hot pursuit. In second place. So, 229, Richie Knight from Headcorn leading from 42. Chris Phillips from Eastley in Hampshire in hot pursuit in second place. It is Richard Sims, it is Colin Osborne, it is Jack Walker, Paul Simmons, Andrew Weber, Arthur Livings and Alan Pan. Oh, Richie Knight certainly got a bit between his teeth this time as he means business. Round they come then, 229. Richie Knight takes the last lap flag from Chris Phillips, who seems well content now to just hold on to that second position. He knows he'll be in the final if he can keep consistent scoring up like that. So White Lola Motor up will wreck the machine in a heat when the finals are still to come. Richie Knight then. A tremendous lead now over Chris Phillips in second. Then Richard Sims. Then Colin Osborne. Daniel Emma. Richie Knight leading from Chris Phillips. In third place then, 180, Richard Sims and Colin Osborne, Daniel Abbott, Paul Simmons, Jack Walker, Arthur Livings and Alan Dan. The 250cc solos and a good win there for 229 Richie Knight. In second place, 42 Chris Phillips. Third place, 180 Richard Sims. Fourth place, number 46 Colin Osborne. Fifth place, number 99 Daniel Abbott, 6th place, number 31, Paul Simmons, 7th, 262, Jack Walker, 8th, 71, Arthur Livings, and 9th, number 20, Alan Dan. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 44.30 seconds, giving an average speed of 50.01 miles per hour. <laughs>
Mark Powell. In second place, 32, Adrian Squirrel. Third place, number 34, Matt Thompson. Fourth place, 118. Bill Sims, fifth, number 48. Brian Cornelius, sixth, number 50. Nick Ablett, seventh, 115, Bernie Edwards. Eighth, 45, James Peters. And ninth, number 14, Adam Garrod. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 46.75 seconds, giving a speed of 48.86 miles per hour. Simmons it is, 
that takes the checkered flag from number nine, Mitchell Gordon, in second place. A win there for number 30, Malcolm Simmons. In second place was number nine, Mitchell Gordon. In third place was number 56, Mick Morphy. Fourth place, number 37, Michael Peters. Then fifth place, number 23, Ian Edwards. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 40.56 seconds, giving an average speed of 51.87 miles per hour. Oh, 
decision as to enter the cloud with force. Colin Blackmore, Eddie Elvis then in the lead. second, then Mark and Robert Sharak, then Robbie Wilson Jr. and Colin Hill, and then number four, Justin Peach and Ian Weatherly. Cars was a win there for 025, Colin Blackburn and Eddie Elvis. In second place is 112, Rick Colvin and Matthew Dix. In third place is number 16, Mark and Robert Sharak. Fourth place, 25, Robbie Wilson Jr. and Colin Hill. And in fifth place, number four, Justin Peach and Ian Weatherly. No six finisher. The winner's time, 1 minute 35.24 seconds, giving an average speed of 48.30 miles per hour. Leave the field. Here they go then. Three outfits in this race 30. We've lost Vaughan Roberts and Nicky Owen. We've lost Duncan Tonos to Paul Baseby. So we should have Rob Wilson, Senior and Tony Miles. Well, a three. see if they can gain some ground on Gavin Newlin and Simon Ward. As I say that, they close right up on his back wheel. But will they have enough to overtake him? 24, Robin Wilson, senior and Tony Miles. Well and truly in the lead from 101, Gavin Newlin and Simon Ward. He's out for the front wheel leaping into the air over this jump. Just off the finish line here, so... Uh, a little added trickery into the track. Round to come then, 24, Rob Wilson, Senior and Tony Miles. From 101, Gavin Dulles. And then 183, Ian Stewart, the Avis, in their first season of sidecar racing. And very impressive they are too. Getting quite good results early on in their career. Round the last turn then, for the last time, and it's 24, Rob Wilson, Senior and Tony Miles taking the checkered flag. Ian Stewart, the aim is in third. For 24, Rob Wilson and Tony Miles. Second place, 101, Gavin Noonan and Simon Wall. Third place, 183, Ian Stewart, the aim is no other finishers. The winner's time, 1 minute 32.48 seconds, giving a speed of 49.74.